Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. And if you've watched my last few videos, you've been with me on a bit of a journey. A collector's evolution, if you will. Looking at Megatron. And I kind of concluded it with the last part, but not quite. I kind of concluded it with the third party representation. This is Hegemon. Um, I put some paint apps on him and I, I, I think he looks fantastic for the character. I done the transformation in one take and I took him back to his alt mode, but it, it works great for holding in your hand, but not for holding in the hands of other figures. So, not being happy with that, how do I choose to rectify it? I rectify it with this. Let's see if I can get it on screen. This is what we're going to look at next. And this is the Dr. Wu DW-P38 Silver version. And we're going to look at this guy in the latest GotBot True Review. Okay, folks, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Dennis Moulton, a.k.a. Gotbot. And yeah, this is the uh, alt mode that I use for my representation of Megatron. Um, it has the sight, it has the stock, it has the silencer, um, and it's very small. You see silver on the main body piece, and it's the same on the other side. Obviously, there's no Decepticon symbol because this is a third-party um, I guess accessory is the best way to term it. Um, I, I kind of complained about the transformation of this guy a little bit. And I did that because it's a, a hard transformation. I, I said I don't do it very often, and I don't. Because when I want to use him in alt mode, I use this. Um, and I think that that looks amazing. The stock is removable. It says in the description that it's meant for the uh, Classics Ultra Magnus, so I guess that Classics Prime mold. But honestly, if you have any figure that has a 5mm port, it can take the 5mm uh, post. So I'm going to just show him with a couple now. Here he is being wielded by my custom painted uh, Fall Cybertron Starscream, and that's a correct scale. Yeah, that looks great. You know, that looks, that looks the way it should look, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, and I will show him with, just because, I will show him And I will show him with this guy, just because. And come on, like that, that works. That works. Now, depending on the size of the figure's hand, that will determine if you can put the stock on the bottom or not. I've only done it with a couple yet, and I have yet to find a hand that's small enough for the whole thing to go through for the stock to go on. Uh, it, was, it was pretty cheap. I got mine from TF Source, um, and honestly, I don't regret it for a second. Transformation, zero. He doesn't transform. Uh, pose ability, play ability, well, he serves the purpose that he's supposed to serve pretty fantastically, uh, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, you know, he does, he does exactly what it is that he's supposed to do. Ten. And uh, paint apps. I guess we'll say nine and a half, because in this mode, really, the only thing he's missing is his insignia. And that is understandable, of course, taking that out. Honestly, when it comes down to it, in the end, starting from what I started with in part one, my final analysis, my final conclusion is, is this guy for representation of the robot mode and this guy for a representation of the alt mode. And I absolutely love both of them and think 
that they are fantastic. Now, some people may say, hey, there is a Titans Returns uh, version coming, and you know what? That looks fantastic. This setup is kind of expensive. To have these two, it's kind of expensive. I'm not going to pretend that it's not when it obviously is. If you uh, can't afford it, you don't have the scratch to get this, honestly, I think the Titans Return Megatron is going to be absolutely fantastic. In fact, for some people, who knows, it may even replace this guy on their shelf, and it may because his alt modes are certainly interesting, replace this. But for me, here's my evolution. And this is the, the quality that I now tend to look for when I get a representation. And I guess that's just my taste and you're allowed to have yours too. Uh, but hopefully it's been interesting and you've learned a little bit about me along the way. And, uh, what can I say? I appreciate you stopping by. I appreciate you checking, uh, checking this little series out. Please, you know, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think and what your ideal versions are. And uh, I guess check me out everywhere. Outside of that, the only thing left to say is thanks for watching. And uh, I really look forward to the next time that you and I get together right here for another visit. Maybe when I look at some more Titans Return. And of course, I have that Computron box set on the way. So yeah, I'll see you the next time that we have a visit right here inside videos.